what is the number one story that, that uh, folks there uh, at Lucas Oil um, in the information business is trying to find out or talking about? What's the scuttlebutt, sir? Well, there's you know there's a couple of things going on. There's the where's everyone going in free agency? And, you know, it's interesting this year because some of the questions have sort of already been answered. Like it's not a you know is Kirk Cousins going to be free? Like we know he's going to be free. We know that probably three or maybe four big time suitors that he's going to have. So that's you know where Cousins is going to go, how strong the Vikings are going to be, what the Jets are going to offer, where the Broncos are going to be. I mean that's uh, that's certainly the talk here is the the quarterback market in free agency, and then. You know, as far as the draft goes, it's um, where do the quarterbacks rank? I mean, Bar- it's, it's Saquon Barkley's great, and then where do the quarterbacks rank? And I've been a little surprised at how many people think Sam Darnold is going number one. I didn't realize there was that much of a separation, but from a lot of the people I speak with, that's what it sounds like. Huh. And then maybe that's what led him to think I don't have to spin it on Saturday. Yeah, that's exactly right. And that, that's been some of the justification. It's been like, well, you know, considering the the position he's in, you know, why does he have to throw him? Which obviously, you know, he he clearly has some some good information and good beliefs that that he has really a chance to go number one. And you know, I I personally wish everybody would throw because why not? And it's fun and just throw. Um, but I understand why he believes he's in the position where he doesn't have to kind of take that small risk. Uh, that maybe some of the other guys are. So uh, if he thinks he's number one overall, and uh, most people think he's number one overall, and let's say he is number one overall, what do you think the Giants mm-hmm. do it too? I know, uh, I know both Gettleman and Pat Shermer have said that they think Eli's got a lot of miles left, but we're going to choose the best player available, even though we're open to trading the number two overall pick. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, get, get through this smoke and, and try and find what the actual fire is here, Ian. Well, I, I think the way the Giants have done it is the way – I mean, for two for a couple of years, it was Giants and Panthers always took best player available, regardless of position. That's it. And now they sort of joined forces. Uh, it seems with with Gettleman and Shula and, and you know the whole deal, they really will take the best player available. And the reason that's most interesting, at least to me, is they could take knowing Eli is on the back nine, uh, probably using those fairway woods that you so eloquently discussed. Yes. Um, I, by the way, it makes me so happy that we're on to golf promos, and I cannot wait to actually. The fact that we're almost there weather-wise, yes. season-wise, makes me so happy. Um, but I really think they could take Barkley number two. He's that good. There's no questions about him at all. They need a running back. I don't think it's crazy. Yeah, to take Saquon mm-hmm. Barkley, right? And then and yeah. then it comes down to it that, that maybe they go ahead and if they don't think Dave – look, that's what I think they should do. They take Saquon Barkley unless somebody rings the phone off the hook with a uh, Mike Ditka-like offer for their entire draft. And they take Barkley, and then they decide, is Davis Webb the guy or not to be the man in the future? And if they want competition at that, then 34th overall, there should be somebody pretty damn uh, high quality at the quarterback position available right there. Well, yeah. Or, you know, we could see what we've seen in the last couple of years is them trade back into the first to right. select, you know, Mason Rudolph. Or, or maybe one of these – you know, every year there's a surprise where a quarterback falls – uh, maybe one of these guys falls. And so maybe the Giants are in a perfect position to trade up, you know, the maybe like in the Paxton Lynch spot, 21-22, maybe in right. the Bridgewater spot a little late. I mean, there's, you know, the Giants are going to have the ability to move around. Uh, and so I'll say this. If they call Saquon Barkley's name at number two, I would not be shocked. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.